along with our video, what I've decided to do is I'm going to teach you a little bit about conditional formatting. I want to see whether something is almost too expensive. So what I can do here is I'm going to say anything that is over one thousand pounds. I want I want to turn red to show that it's a high cost, and I may need to change my spreadsheet. So up here in the home tab, if I go to conditional formatting, all right. I can go to highlight cell rules and I can say if it is greater than, all right, I can say if it's greater than, let's say 1000, all right, and you can choose your custom format. So I'm going to say red. So what you can do is you can say fill, I'm going to say red. And font, I'm going to make white so that it's actually able to be red, okay? And click OK, all right? So that's now a rule on all of those cells. So if that number goes above 1,000, it highlights it to me. The next thing I'm going to do is say if it's less than, but I'm going to change it, all right? I'm going to say less than... 1000 we're going to go to we're going to go for a green fill all right less than 1000 but i'm also going to add a rule that says when it's equal to 1000 that it's green as well all right so anything 1000 or under is fine that now means that say for example i move that up to 10 it's okay but when i change it to 11 it changes the color of it all right, and those are really useful skills to have if you're going into any industry. All right, so that's how you can do conditional formatting. Now, as we are on formatting, we're also going to do the next part of our video, which is going to actually take the value of the cell that we were working on. I'm just going to, I've merged that. Just a reminder, I used merge there, and I'm going to say total total spent. I'm also going to merge that. And based on my venue, you'll need to say how many people are allowed to be there. So I'm going to say maximum capacity. I want to know how much I'm going to charge per ticket. All right. So I've now got my borders. I'm actually going to make sure they're all the same. So let me just remove all my borders and put the right one on. Now my total spent, if I want to use that cell, all I need to do is go equals and click on it. All right, your items will be much different to mine. Now the maximum capacity of people that can be at my venue is 10,000, okay? So I've decided that there can be 10,000 people. This is where it gets a bit more complicated. Now, I'm going to have one that says, all right, within budget. And I'm also going to have one, I'm going to merge that, all right. I'm going to have one, all right, that works out. So that's going to show whether it's in budget or not. And that is going to say price uh, ticket. Now I'm going to do a follow-up video to show you how we can start doing all the maths behind this.